this part of a playlist to watch them all, go ahead and click the link down below. You ready? Let's go! Welcome to the 18th devastating argument against the existence of God. I reckon that this one will make scholars everywhere take note. So let's hear it. If you try to explain your religious mythology to someone who had never heard it before, you would sound crazy. Seriously, try explaining communion wafers to someone who's never heard of Catholicism. I see. So what's wrong with this argument? Well, to start, the argument seems to entirely depend on the faulty assumption that it's actually possible for me to care an insignificant degree less if people think I'm crazy or not. I mean, have you seen my videos? But to respond to the claim, so what if people think that my beliefs sound crazy? All beliefs sound crazy if you're not starting from the same set of background knowledge. For example, people who claim that Jesus never existed sound absolutely crazy to virtually everyone who understands or has the slightest clue of how ancient history works. Imagine talking to people who lived thousands of years ago and trying to explain to them that the earth is spinning at about a thousand miles per hour and it's actually going at about 67,000 miles per hour around the sun. You would sound absolutely crazy and that's just because they don't have the same background knowledge that you and I might have. But if that sounded crazy, what exactly does that prove? Could that prove that all of our scientific reasons for holding those beliefs are false? Well, if not, then we know that what's true is true and that doesn't depend on whether or not somebody thinks that it sounds crazy or not. So background knowledge and background information is critical. So if the background information that's shared is that God doesn't exist, then of course somebody couldn't walk on water or turn water into wine. But if God does exist, then obviously it's possible that miracles can and do happen. So the whole cliques of those atheists who like to laugh and mock miracles as if like religious people believe these things happen by natural causes and by natural means, that only shows that they're really bad listeners. But if it's even possible that God does exist, the miracles are at least possible. So what do we do with this argument? Well, I think the bottom line is this. Remember, this guy's claim was supposed to be an argument against the existence of God. But this could only be an argument against the existence of God if it's true that if something sounds crazy to someone else, that makes it false. But your views are gonna sound crazy to someone else. So obviously you can't claim that something is not true just because it might sound crazy to you. Maybe the next objection's a bit more of an argument. Some people claim that if God didn't exist, the world would look the exact same way that it does right now. Is that a good argument or not? Let's see if my homeboy Mike Winger can handle this one. If you're not already in the playlist, click right here to find out.